Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to do squash and meat sauce. And I'm going to show you how to cut up this squash. And because this end, right here, the core, the stem end is so hard to cut through, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. You have to use a very sharp knife. I'm hoping this is sharp enough. There's the end of it right there. Throw it out. And then you stick the point of the knife down the center of the squash. And you just start rocking it. Rock it back and forth. Till you get it through one end. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite in the middle. I thought it was, but it isn't. All right. Not quite through. All right. Now you're going to turn the squash around. And you're going to start from the same point that you started with before. You're going to stick this knife down in there and rock. Rock it back and forth until you have the squash opened. I made a boo-boo, but it doesn't matter. All right, let me get this open here. When you get inside, there's going to be a bunch of junk in there, and I'm going to just take a spoon and clean it out, see? And then we'll be back. All right, I've finished cutting these and scraping them, and they're ready to go in my pressure cooker. Down in the bottom of the pressure cooker, I put a, a grate. Make sure it fits your pressure cooker. In the squash. <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit of salt on each one. And a little bit of pepper. Make sure you get all those strings out. There we go. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Now let me get you over here to the... Alright, I'm going to put these in. And they are not going to fit side by side, but guess what? It doesn't matter. <clears throat> They're going in just like that. Now I'm going to take about a cup and a half of water and I'm not going to pour it over the squash. I'm just going to pour it um, and if you want it to come to pressure faster, use warm water. So I'm pouring it down beside it so it won't get... on the squash that I've softened. Now, depending on the size of your squash, and I want to say this was about a medium squash. Um, that's how long you're going to cook it on the highest pressure you have. <clears throat> so... I'm going to close this up, make sure that it's on a seal, which is right there. And, I, and uh, anyway, sorry about if that. You're, you're going to cook it anywhere from. Sorry about that. I, my battery went dead. I don't know how much of this you caught. I put the, clean the squash out, sprinkled it with salt and pepper, put a grate 
in the bottom of the pressure cooker and put a cup and a half of water in there. I salt and peppered both halves of the squash and it doesn't matter if they're not side by side. I'm going to close the lid. You're going to cook this or pressure it on the highest pressure setting you have depending on the size of the squash. You're going to cook it anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. I think this is a medium sized squash. When you go for from small, medium, and large. So I'm going to cook this um, 13 minutes. And then we'll be back when it gets done. Alright, I ended up cooking that squash or pressuring it 15 minutes. So it's over here in a container cooling and while that's going on I am going to brown this is sausage I'm gonna brown a half a pound of it And when I get a little bit of grease in there, I will uh, I'm going to add some onions, a little bit of um, crushed red pepper, and uh, and then. Um, I'll bring you back. Alright, my sausage is browning up and I think I told you if you want to use hamburger or any other type of meat, you go right ahead. This is what I used. Half a pound of sausage. I added some onions and just a few shakes of crushed pepper flakes and a small can, I said that, small can of mushrooms and my onions. Now I'm going to add I should use fresh tomatoes, but Sam accidentally opened this the other day, so I want to use it before it goes bad. It's spicy marinara, and it is a 24-ounce jar. I'm going to add that in, <clears throat> and I'm also going to put some water in it so I can get the rest of the sauce out. shake it up. Gotta have some liquid in there, you know. So there's my liquid. I think I got a cup in there. Stir this in. I'm gonna put the top back on this. And I'm going to let it simmer or pressure about seven minutes. That should be time enough for the, if there's any of the meat that's not cooked, that should do it. And uh, should also soften up those onions if they're not soft enough. I can never get this top on, but there we go and put it, make sure it's on pressure. And I turn it off of, um, I had it on brown, so I'm going to put it back under pressure, the highest one, and then I'm going to reduce the time to seven minutes, and we'll be back when that happens. All right. I've been letting my squash, my spaghetti squash, cool while the meat sauce cooked. And all you do is just scrape it, just like this. You just scrape it till you get all the flesh out of it. It's real easy to do, but you have to wait till it cools because 
you're going to have a hard time with it otherwise. So here we go. There's more in there than you think. This is a two and a half quart casserole that I'm putting this into. And let me get this from up here. Because I want to get all the squash out of it. See, there's more than you think in here. And that's about all I want to get. I'm going to put that down and put it over here. I've already done the other one. I just kept this one out to show you. So now I got my spaghetti squash. Just think of the carbs you're saving by using this squash. Let me get me a little plate here. All right, I'm going to back up some. Put my plate down. There we go. I'm just going to lift up some of this spaghetti squash. Get it on my plate. Stir up my my meat sauce. I might want to see it. There we go. This is it right here. Put some on my plate with the mushrooms and onions. And of course, I told you I used uh, sausage, but you can use any type of meat you want to. Now here comes my cheese. Does that look good or what? Let's give it a little taste here. If I can, it's hot. I don't have, um, <clears throat> whoops, a mouth of steel like Sam. So I'm going to blow it off a second. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know what's great about spaghetti sauce? I mean, spaghetti squash. It takes on the flavor of whatever you put in on it. This is delicious. Save you a lot of carbs. Easy uh, midday, week meal, fast meal when you're working and come home. Thank you so much for spending a little part of your day with me. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. And until next time, you all take care. Let me see if I can get way down in there for you. How about that?